All right, everybody, so I've got everything positioned. Um, I took my initial volume of my titrant, the potassium permanganate solution, that's 25.30, uh, and we're gonna titrate to the end point again, looking for that faint pink color that remains uh, in there uh, for about 30 seconds or so. I've got this going at a couple drips per second. And you can kind of see that the uh, turns, uh, the potassium permanganate lingers for a little bit. And then as we mix it, it goes away. Um, one thing that you could always do in your first trial, whenever you're titrating something, whether it's a standardization like this, um, or it's a, um, uh, an actual sample that you're testing, uh, you can always do a dummy trial to figure out how much uh, titrant you should be adding approximately. In those dummy trials, you, you generally overshoot the endpoint. Um, but uh, um, when you end up with the, uh, you end up with a value that's really close to what it should be. That way for your subsequent trials, you can go really fast uh, up until the, until you get close to the endpoint and then add dropwise slowly mixing. Otherwise, which you can kind of notice, hopefully, move the paper here, maybe you can see a little bit better, is that that purple color, the longer it persists, that means that we're getting closer to the end point. And I'm adding a drop every couple seconds, so it's going pretty quickly. Titrations, it's all about patience. Um, and uh, you, can, you can sometimes do a calculation to be able to figure out how much titrant that you're using. Um, we generally have a, an idea when we made this that it was 0.017 molar approximately. So you could do a calculation and say, if I start out with around 0.4 grams of FAS, uh, you could figure out how many milliliters of this, uh, uh, of our potassium permanganate you would need to add. Uh, and uh, uh, in that way that you'll know approximately how much to add. That's another way to do things and go pretty quickly with it. You would need to know the chemical reaction uh, and then uh, to be able to figure that out. So that might be something that's given, or you could look it up. It seems like it's lingering a bit longer now, getting pretty close to the end point. Looks kind of a, looks like it's taken on a kind of a pink color. Uh, you can see that a little bit better there. And uh, we'll see if it persists for about 30 seconds. I can also read my final volume, and I think is the final volume at this point. Uh, and this would be about 38 point Three zero. So let's keep waiting and see if that is my endpoint. I want to make sure to write it down in case this were to uh, maybe start fading on me. Um, then I could add more, but just in case, um, I also there's notice that there's kind of a drop hanging off the tip of my burette. Um, and uh, I want to make sure I get the endpoint. If that were to accidentally drop in, it may change the volume a little bit. So that's been 30 seconds. I think we're at our end point here. Uh, typical standardization, what you would do is um, uh, you would then maybe do multiple trials if you were doing this yourself. 
Sometimes as a class, we would take the class data, take one good trial from the class data. Again, for your calculations, if you wanted to, we can take a look at it, it'd be 0.4223 grams of FAS. That's how many I used. My initial volume was 25.30 milliliters. My final volume was 38.30. Uh, we'll go through our calculations in our next video to figure out what the concentration of our potassium permanganate is.